They were taxpayer dollars meant to keep struggling businesses afloat during the COVID shutdown. But a Kentwood man concocted a fake company to get a 170,000 paycheck in paycheck protection funds. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples was there when he pleaded guilty in federal court today. Susan? 50-year-old Curtis James Vandermullen, who now lives in Kentwood, pleaded guilty in Grand Rapids federal court today to bank fraud and money laundering for using payroll protection money to buy a BMW convertible and a fancy Florida wedding. What do you want people to know about why you did this? No comment from Curtis Vandermolen, who has a criminal justice degree from GVSU, a ministry called Grace Changes Everything, and a couple self-published books. Now, the 50-year-old who told a judge he was raised in Grand Rapids will have a federal conviction, too, for bank fraud and money laundering. What do you want people to know about breakout strategies? He admitted making up a company called Breakout Strategies, which supposedly did marketing consulting for entrepreneurs. He claimed it was headquartered out of this building on Grand Rapids, Michigan Street, and it employed 11 people, at least according to fake payroll and bank records he submitted along with his application for payroll protection dollars. I want to give you an opportunity to share. You just pleaded guilty. You pleaded guilty. What do you want people to know about why you did this? In his plea, Vandermullen admitted he took in 100 grand in PPP money in August 2020. He spent 18 grand of that the next month to pay off his BMW convertible, among other personal purchases. When that money ran out, he sought and received a second round, $69,000 in February 21, which he spent on his May wedding on a fancy boat in Sarasota, Florida, a wedding documented on YouTube. Vandermullen said he met his soon to be wife near Clearwater Beach where he had been living and became engaged a few days later. This is Vandermullen when he was booked into the Kent County Jail in 2003, an arrest related to non-payment of alimony. In May of this year, Vandermullen filed for his latest bankruptcy, listing his liabilities at $866,000, including nearly three hundred sixty dollars in student loans, nineteen dollars owed to the IRS, and $240,000 in business loans. He told the judge he'd been on disability himself since 2009 for mental health issues he has long battled. What do you want people to know about why you did this? Again, no comment there. Before pleading guilty, Vandermullen assured the judge today that despite his health issues, he is competent and fully aware of his rights. The bank fraud charge carries up to 30 years in prison and a fine of up to $1 million. Vandermullen is out on bond right now, awaiting sentencing now in late March.